Hey, it's Craig here from CP, and today we're down at Cadence to get a super cool professional bike fit. So let's see how it goes. So we're here with, at Cadence with Simon today, and he's going to take us through steps of uh, a bike fit. So what's the first step, Simon, then? So the first step was kind of similar to a consultation at the doctor's. Bike fitter extraordinaire Simon sat Craig down and asked him a series of questions to discover more about his general fitness and habits on the bike. Craig is obviously in peak physical condition, so this didn't take long at all. Simon also asked for Craig's vital statistics, like height, weight and age, as well as more cycling specific questions, such as the type of riding Craig does, whether he ever notices pain during rides, and if he does any sports other than cycling. Craig's answer to that question was obviously no. In Craig's case, his favourite type of riding is longer endurance riding rather than sprints. In fact, Craig is quite the Audax aficionado. If you don't know what an Audax is, they're essentially endurance 200km plus rides where riders have to finish within a predefined time limit and pick up stamps at various points along the way to prove they've completed the course. In terms of discomfort, Craig occasionally suffers from pain on the sides of his feet while riding, particularly after long stints on the bike. He got his violin out and made Simon acutely aware of this. So that's the physical assessment done. We're now going to get myself on the bike and see how the actual fit itself works. At this stage, Simon was assessing Craig's position just by eye to get a general steer towards areas that might need some tweaking, like saddle position and stem length. Basically the obvious things. Craig was made to do a couple of bigger efforts for around 20 seconds a time to give Simon a clearer picture of his pedal stroke and body position. The idea here is that this is supposed to mimic real life a bit more and gives a much more accurate picture for the bike fitter to work from. Next up, Simon took measurements of Craig's feet so he could begin work on the custom footbeds for Craig's shoes. Although footbeds aren't absolutely essential for cycling, they should help to make the ride more comfortable and are generally recommended by bike fitters. As ever, the golden rule here is not to ride if you ever feel any pain. For Craig, the idea was to help alleviate some of the pain he gets in the sides of his feet during rides. Then it was time to check the cleat position on Craig's shoes. Simon had a nifty device to help assist with this. To be honest, there weren't too many adjustments to make to Craig's perfectly aligned cleats so good job there, Craig. The basic principle here is that you want the ball of your foot to sit over the pedal axle. So that's just the case of moving the cleat forwards or backwards until you're in the right position. So Simon's just sorted my cleat position and I'm gonna get back onto the bike now uh, and these cameras gonna capture my body position. So the motion capture is where it all got quite exciting. Channeling his inner Andy Circus, that's a Lord of the Rings and King Kong reference, by the way. Craig was tagged with markers all over his body for the infrared cameras that were dotted across the room to pick up and map out his body position in 3D on the screen. This gave the system what looked like thousands of readings and a whole host of technical data for Simon to crunch. Simon was then able to check if Craig's readings were broadly as he'd expect and then make any further adjustments to Craig's position on the bike necessary. For Craig, the readings suggested three things. First of all, that Craig's saddle was too low. Second, that Craig's weight was too far forward on the bike. And finally, that Craig was overreaching for the bars. For Simon, saddle height and weight position, the first two of those things, are the most important elements of any bike fit. So it was important to get these bang on. Interestingly, it's a common misconception that your back should be straight while cycling. It's better to try and maintain a reasonably upright pelvis with a slightly curved back. If you watch the positions of pro cyclists, you'll see that this is exactly the position that most of them adopt. So the final part of the fit was for Craig to put his freshly made footbeds back into his shoes and get back on the bike with the adjustments having been made. Time for just one final motion capture to check Craig was perfectly dialed in and the job was done. One happy Craig. It's been going, it's quite interesting to see how my body has been adjusting to the changes so it'll be good to actually get out on the road and see how it feels when I go for a proper ride.